the school district focuses in on full-time distance learning, that really brings up the question about access to the Internet and Wi-Fi, as we've been hearing. As Kate Houston reports, some parents are worried about how they're going to keep their kids connected to the Internet all day. In order to properly, um, you know, do virtual ed, they need their own Chromebook that they're going to be able to do their own work. As a teacher and mother, Cassandra Bowaka is trying to plan the upcoming school year for her kids and students. It's difficult. It's very hard to juggle uh, between all these things because you've got yourself that you have your duties, and then you've got your duties for your children as well. As the idea of full time distance learning sets in, Bawaka is concerned about internet outages. Before the pandemic, she suggested her virtual ed students go to a local coffee shop or restaurant to try to stay on top of their schoolwork. We don't have those as options to, to get internet. We only have our homes or we have our hotspots on our phones. That you can only have so much data that comes out of it. Michelle Robinson also worries the internet in her home will become an issue. After upgrading the speed, Robinson says her kids were still having problems getting online. Our houses are very close together, and that seems to it, it, you know, during quarantine, we were having lots and lots of issues with our internet. These connectivity problems while distance learning are worrisome to Buaka. This past school year, it led to students missing lessons and made it hard to get in touch with families. We couldn't get in contact with them, couldn't reach out to them. It, it's difficult. Because of this, Buaka would like the district to ensure that every family has equal access to the technology needed for distance learning. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. So earlier this month, CCSD sent out a survey to all the parents and staff out there, and the responses account for less than half of the, all the students in the entire district. But of those responses, 95% say yes, they do have Internet access at home. Kirsten? 